الرحمن Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Ali Janma here. Welcome back to my little main cave and more RC video reviews. I've been flying FPV using my beloved Skyzone V2 video goggles, which probably I bought considering them they were V3. Silly me, these are V2, but so far they have been very, 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 very good. I have even flown over six kilometers using some using just one patch antenna and one uh, pagoda antenna on this one and that was glitch free video over six plus kilometer flying with my mini talon but i had issues with it it stopped working at one point i had to send it back to skyzone and thank you very much skyzone they repaired it very very quickly it came back and since then it has been working really really nice now the other issue that i have with it even with the face plate installed right here I still get fogginess inside the condensation on the lenses and I have to I have to put the goggles off and clean the lens or you know uh, give it some air to reduce or get rid the fog inside so I went ahead and guess what I got myself the new Skyzone V3 video goggles right here now these goggles are actually a step ahead well not just one step ahead many many steps ahead of the v2 and basically they are one of the high-end fpv video goggles that you might want to put your hands on you no matter you fly long range fpv short range fpv no matter you fly racing drones this is one of the best fpv goggles that you're gonna put your hands on i am super excited to have these v3 with me and i want to see what improvements they have done what is better they have provided in skyzone v3 fpv goggles so let me bring the camera closer and give you a quick looky looky at the video goggles unbox it and then of course we're gonna fly some FPV with it very very soon. Guess what? I have my mini Talon FPV plane hanging behind the camera and I have got a 5S Beast, the Ishin Wizard TS215 that I can't wait to rip some speeds on it because this is a 5S FPV racing quadcopter and I need a very very reliable video downlink for this quadcopter. I'm gonna fly it with the sky zone v3s for sure now you might want to excuse my messy table here i'm sorry because i don't have much room uh, with all this rc alhamdulillah i got here here it is the sky zone newest o3 fpv goggles hdmi h264 encoding for a built-in dvr that they have given you in this video goggles Alright, well first off we have a user manual with a QR code for you to go to the website probably and you can also download this uh, user manual basically on Banggood website. A very nice and neat, uh, good written in English user manual. After that you have a bigger box and a smaller box. A smaller box of course have accessories. So these are the accessories in the box. You have two wide antennas which probably you're not going to use ever just like me because I've got better and higher DBI Pagoda and patch antennas that I'm going to use. Okay, then you have an AV out cable because your goggles support AV out, all right? So you can feed it to other video goggles or even a TV. Then you have a head tracker uh, cable should you want to uh, track your head movement on a pan tilt camera mount. Uh, you have another head tracker cable for JR type radio that was this was for Futaba and then you have a power cable so you can power your goggles with a lipo battery. And here comes the real deal people. I simply like this little box uh, case right here and that you can carry with this uh, little uh, carabiner given here okay spring loaded one but the thing I don't like about it is you cannot have the antennas mounted on the goggle you have to remove the antenna and put the goggles in all the time I'm worried about making those antenna uh, ports loosen anyway check this out 
Oh my sweetness, this is going to be my beloved new SkyZone FPV video goggles. Well, we have all these faceplate soft uh, stickers with foam, okay? We have another faceplate stickers and ooh, wrapped in still the brand new FPV video goggles. All right, taking a closer look, the first thing that you might want to notice is you're not going to have fog anymore because there's a built-in fan with a metal cover on top of it to keep it cool probably. This is this built-in fan will make sure your electronics inside the goggles keep cool and also it will not let any fog build inside so you can keep flying without worries in summer and in winter okay and then we have the similar buttons like uh, skyzone v2 record mode camera band channel and track camera button uh, will also do the auto tracking for the signals or frequencies or auto scan and also you can activate the front camera so that you can see your way or walk or see your model before you fly and then switch back to the RF feed or AV feed okay after that you might want to notice a line right here which is a built-in LED light that makes it look even more futuristic and more cool well we'll find out very very soon once I power it now we have the two antenna ports for diversity video receiver we have an on off switch which will also use to turn the fan on and off we have a power port right here now when we are coming to the bottom of the video goggles you have HDMI in awesome you have AV in you have USB you have AV out you have a TF card slot for your DVR and the headphone jack and then your head tracker connection is right here and then we also have the IPD adjusters right here Okay, so you can adjust the IPDs as per your eyesight or where you feel comfortable you can also add and remove diopter lenses on this video goggles as you can see here which makes it very very good for those nearsighted or farsighted people who want to use glasses so you can add a diopter lenses of your choice and get better and comfortable image while using these video goggles all right here comes the LED show all right I've turned out the lights so you can see you have many different types that you can set on LEDs so I will keep cycling through right green looks good but I don't like this much blink pattern wait for some cool ones coming very soon okay then we have solid lights which are good but my favorite are coming very soon these are good these are nice oh night rider lights awesome only at one side why oh the breathing one has come awesome I love these ones the breathing ones so we have many different colors in the breathing lights as well I believe they have RNG uh, RGB breathing lights as well sweet did I just turn everything off yes okay so those were all the things so I'm gonna set this to my favorite breathing one one moment actually these looks good but they're way too fast basically these are nice actually these are very very nice but I'm just gonna keep it on the breathing one one moment ah yes red breathing my favorite color now what a sweet little goggles sky zone you have here I can't wait to fly FPV with it well, there's a lot to talk about these video goggles, but I'm going to keep things very, very short. You can always read uh, the user manual and features of these goggles online. Now, the best thing I like about this goggle is the video DVR that will save the video even if you accidentally turn the goggles off. So your video file will not corrupt. Normally on DVR, when you accidentally turn the video goggles off, your video file is corrupted, leaving you in uh, anger. So now you will not corrupt the video file even if you turn the goggles off without turning without stopping the recording on DVR it will save your file and it is recording an H.264 format before I recorded with the Skyzone V2 on a DVR and I wasn't very satisfied with the result but let's see how good is the DVR on this video goggle also using the mode button you can actually set the RF in racing mode or a normal mode how good that is this is basically very very easy to use with these buttons and very very quick to configure everything I am actually sweating, I can see the sweat running 
on my back. Well, stay tuned for more FPV flight videos using the Skyzone all 3 video goggles. Go check out the link in the video description and you can grab your Skyzone V3 from that link as soon as possible. You know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on. Don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right